Hello and welcome to the section where we talk about spiritual direction. So uh, alongside all of the information I've placed on this page, um, I would also like to discuss a little bit with you as well, because spiritual direction is one of those interesting things that it's not really well known. It's kind of amorphous, really. I mean, spiritual direction, what does that actually mean? Um, you know, when we think about therapy, when we think about coaching, when we think about even pastoral care, um, there's a lot of specific ideas of what that looks like. And so spiritual direction can mean various different things. So spiritual direction for me and how I've uh, been trained with it is uh, it's almost like couples counseling with the divine. That's how I kind of see it. My role as spiritual director is to work with clients to focus in on the relationship that they have with their spirituality, with themselves, and with uh, the, the, the divine, however we want to encapsulate that or look at it. Um, and so while I use a lot of skill sets that I would use in therapy, spiritual direction has a very different focus. We're not looking at day-to-day -day issues. We're not looking at mental health issues. What we're looking at is relationship. And, uh, and that can take in many different forms. And that can be anything from, uh, like I said, relationship to self, understanding kind of how you are approaching your spirituality and how you're showing up um, to the relationship to a particular deity, to a particular spirit, um, and, and kind of how that relationship is impacting your life. So a spiritual direction um, tends to be uh, uh, less focused on day-to-day -day issues and more at existential pieces. We're looking at various different um, uh, kind of ways that that will show up. A lot of my clients who have engaged with spiritual direction, um, they tend to be coming from a place of uh, either doubt or they're coming from a place of... Um, life transition. And so they're in a place of movement, of liminality, of, of being in a, a place of change in their life. And they're looking for a safe space to be able to explore and digest and speak about, uh, about this. Um, I think for a lot of Westerners, spirituality is an uncomfortable topic because the assumption either is that um, you are to, supposed to take that to a closure person which, to be fair, a lot of spiritual directors also tend to be clergy in their own faith communities. Um, but it, there really aren't many spaces outside of, of, of those spiritual spaces to discuss spirituality. Um, and so what spiritual direction, the space that we create together, is, is that space of, of digestion, is that, sp that space of exploration. Um, and that place where you can come and do that work for yourself. Now, what spiritual direction is not, and I have to be very clear with this, it is not uh, about me as the spiritual director giving clients a religion to follow. It is not about changing a religion. So I have my own personal faiths that I am attached to, um, and I have written about those elsewhere on the website here. Um, but spiritual direction is not about somebody coming to me in order to learn that faith. That is not my role. My role is to be, in some ways, very similar to my therapy role. I'm there to challenge. I'm there to hold space so that that exploration can take place. I'm here to uh, reflect back. Um, and I'm also here to ask the right questions. So how my personal spirituality comes into this work is... I certainly have my own experiences that have fulfilled my life. I'm using my insight of my journey to ask then questions that can help stimulate uh, reflection in my, in my client. So for example, um, ritual tends to be a huge part of, of, of spiritual experience. And so I've been part of, of many different forms of ritual in my own spiritual life. And I know for me what that experience was like and the, and the lasting impact of those rituals were in my life. And so knowing those uh, impacts, those potential impacts, that can then feed into asking the right questions when it comes to working with a client. So I'll give you a very concrete example. I had a client who 
um, was in the process of transitioning and they chose a new name for themselves, which it, for the trans community is a huge process. And it's such an important part of that, that, that switching, that transformation. And so they haven't yet chosen the name, but I encouraged them to create a ritual of, of, of that would express and reflect their relationship to their dead name. And they performed a funeral for their dead name because they wanted to put that dead name to rest. And so having gone through an experience similar, uh, similar to that myself, I knew then what some of the feelings I was feeling after that came in. And so it, it allowed me to ask uh, poignant questions, sensitive questions to the client to help them explore their feelings around what they had experienced just then, and then how their relationship going forward to their new name would be, uh, would be part of that, how that would come into it. So as you can see, it wasn't in that moment me telling that client how they should feel, which in many ways a pastor might, um, or uh, how a, a clergy person might, based on the scriptures, looking at the scriptures of whatever religion they are part of. It's about that relationship piece. So I would recommend if you're looking for a spiritual, uh, spiritual uh, counseling um, or spiritual direction, um, I often use the terms interchangeably, um, reach out. We can talk about some of your goals, what you are looking at. Um, there may be times where the issue actually is more beneficially um, looked at in therapy versus spiritual direction. Um, and sometimes with some clients coming to me for uh, counseling, for traditional counseling, um, we stray into spiritual direction. And so I often will suggest having a session around those particular pieces. Um, and so there is crossover, but uh, there is also distinctions as well. Feel free to reach out. I do have a, I, I do offer a free consultation. Um, and if this is something that you're looking at working in, um, please reach out. Below, I have included for uh, framing um, some of these spiritual traditions I have been part of. Um, a lot of my work, my own spiritual work, is in uh, neo-paganism and in uh, earth-centered traditions, animistic traditions. And so that really is what kind of my background. But when it comes to spiritual direction, um, it isn't about knowing about particular traditions that makes a good spiritual director. It is about being able to ask the right questions to stimulate the relationship between the client and their tradition. And so I am open to working with anybody. Um, and, uh, and really, like I say in my, in my counseling uh, page, um, you are the expert on your relationship to that religion, to those spiritual traditions, to your spirituality. I'm just here to be a friend along the way. Please reach out, uh, the information is down below and I look forward to hearing from you. Goodbye.